Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. In the last video, as you have seen, I have added a authentication to my React.js application. So as a result of authentication, I will get the access token. So in this video, I'm going to validate this access token and fetch the details like username and other details. And also I'll validate uh, the token uh, when we send it to the backend to the service call, right? So first step is to uh, write the code for validating this token. So I have just done that. Uh, here you can see this is a code I got it from AWS. Uh, so the first thing is to uh, use the JWT uh, uh, library, that is a JSON web token library. So this actually the token access token is a uh, JSON web token. So there's a common library to uh, decode the JSON web token. So we are going to use that. And the next one is uh, JWT to PEM. Okay, so this this is going to you uh, get some details uh, from the Cognito uh, server. So actually uh, there is one link uh, which you need to go to uh, to fetch that file. So let me just show you that. So the most important thing to validate the token uh, which you get from Cognito is uh, to get the JWKS file. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, the JWKS JSON file is a unique file for each user pool ID. Sorry, each user pool. So I have the uh, this link and I have uh, used this to get the JWKS file. Okay, so once you have the JWKS file, download it from this link. Uh, you can just import that file. Let's see here. Okay. So I have this file. I'm just going to read this file here. Okay. I'm just going to pass it. So it is in a JSON format. Okay. So the next thing is uh, from this file, uh, you have to get the keys and you have to get the second item okay so i'm just doing keys of one so i have this uh, input let me show you that so when i run this uh, you can see here here is my jwks file and this is the first item in that. Similarly, we'll have the second item. Okay, so th this is what I'm going to use it. Okay. So with this, you can validate the token. So you once you have the PEM, uh, then you have to pass a token. So just to demo it, I have just set the token here. Okay, this is the token uh, which I got it from when I do the login. So when I login to uh, Cognito and get redirected back to the React.js application. I have the access token in the hash. So from the hash, you need to get the access token. Okay, once you have that, the next step is to validate it. So there's a command jwt.verify. So you have to pass the token which you uh, get it once you log in and from the hash you can retrieve it right this is what you got it and then the next thing is the pem which uh, you have to go to the specific link for cognito that is specific to your user pool and then you have to download that okay and that file will be something like this okay so once you have that the next step is to specify the algorithm so specify rs256 and once you have that, you you will get the response here. Okay. So when I ran this program, I got the response here. Okay. So this is the response, and I get 
everything like all the client id and uh, the username right so this is a success scenario uh, i have you have seen that i have two tokens the the second token is valid one and the first one is uh, it's expired so when you use the expired token uh, what is the response you get is uh, like this yeah this is the one jwt expired so if you see this, uh, that means your token is expired and you have to uh, expire the login and then uh, the user can re-login, right? So the token gets expired as per the strategy you have defined. Okay, so this is for the other token. Let's say uh, you are giving an invalid token. Okay, let's try that. Let me change the token. I will just add some extra characters for demo purpose. Right. Okay, and let me call the function again. So you'll you'll get a error like invalid token. This is the error you get fine okay so there are some uh, errors you might get while uh, writing this program so here for the JW or K if you are using the wrong key okay so you might get a different error let me just show that if you are having a different key this has two rows so if you are using the first key, so you will get a different error. You will get an invalid signature error. Okay, so once you see that, that means you have uh, this code that is wrong. You need to correct it, make it as one. So once you change that, this will work. Okay, there's another error uh, which I was talking about. So, if uh, your JWT, uh, JWK file is not proper, right? So, you will get a different error. Like, if I, if you're not passing the correct value to this JWK uh, function, so you'll get a different error. Right, if I pass instead of passing the object let me pass the whole object itself so the you will get error like uh, expected jwk.kty to be a string uh, these errors actually are not very uh, user friendly errors okay so just make sure uh, you are careful with uh, what you're passing it anyway the code uh, you have to just keep it in a utility method and uh, not write it always put one here okay so that's all for today's video uh, I'm just going to add some more features in the application and let's uh, Let's see in another video. Uh, that's all for today. Thank you. Uh, thanks for watching.